Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. At this point, you should have translated your training goal into a specific value that FlySight can indicate. So for example, glide ratio. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about two ways that FlySight can indicate that value, tones and speech. Let's talk about tones first. Uh, FlySight can use any value, so for example, speed or glide ratio, to control the pitch of a regular tone. Usually I set this up so that the higher pitch indicates that I'm doing well and a lower pitch indicates that I'm doing poorly. So for example, we might set it up so that a low pitch indicates a glide ratio of zero, uh, falling straight down, and a high pitch indicates a glide ratio of four, uh, which is flying quite flat. Uh, if I'm flying level and then I close my wings, it might sound something like this. Note that the rate of the tone accelerates when our glide ratio changes. This helps us differentiate between steady flight and changing conditions. With speech, the FlySight will dictate the actual value at regular intervals. Uh, using the same clip we just listened to, if we indicate with speech instead, here's what it sounds like. 2.9 2.9 1.6. There are a couple of things to notice here. Uh, first, tones are better at letting us know when something is changing. Uh, and second, speech is better at letting us know exactly how well we're flying at a given moment. You can use these two qualities to decide which indication you want to use for a particular situation. Uh, you can even mix and match. So for example, you could use tones to indicate total speed and speech to indicate glide ratio uh, if you wanted to maximize your speed but make sure you maintain a certain minimum glide ratio. At this point, we've translated our training goal into a specific value FlySight can indicate, and we've decided whether to use tones or speech to indicate the value. In the next video, we'll talk about how to set this up on the FlySight. Thanks for watching.